Now in order to create a much better uh, convolutional filter that would give us a much more evenly blurred image, we have to create a Gaussian filter kernel. In order to achieve that, we have to create the same n by n matrix, and we have to iterate over every single point in the matrix to generate a smooth Gaussian function. Now, in order to uh, calculate a circular Gaussian function for our kernel, we first have to define a way to calculate the distance from the center of the image. For this, we can use the same distance function that we used in two-dimensional frequency domain filtering. And we can also use the same Gaussian function, only in this case, since the total value of the Gaussian still needs to uh, remain at one, not be the not that the absolute value needs to be one, then we don't need to add the extra multiplication at the end. And then we just need to apply this function over our new kernel, generating a circular Gaussian into the image. And just in case our uh, kernel values uh, to go over one, then just to make sure we can take the kernel and then divide it by the sum of all values in the kernel. And by applying the function, we can see that the end result is essentially the same, but much more smoother in terms of blurring than the normal uh, box type filter.